In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Proton Authenticator. So to get started, you need to install the app on your device. You can head over to the Play Store or the App Store and search for Proton Authenticator. Install it and after that, open it. Once you open it, you're going to get this interface. Tap Get Started. Then I made a video on how you can import your 2FA codes from Google Authenticator to Proton. So if you want to import your codes, you can watch that video. Just tap import and follow what I said in the video. But since I'm not going to be importing, this is just to show you how to use it. Just tap skip. And if you want to enable the fingerprint lock, then tap enable biometric unlock. So for now, I'll tap it. I think it's useful. Tap it and enter your fingerprint. And after that, you have done the basic setup. So what you want to start doing now is start adding your codes. So for this tutorial, I'll be using Twitter or X to create an authentication code. Okay, so my 2FA code, like my setup code from Twitter has been generated for me. All I have to do now is copy this code and then I'll paste it in Proton Authenticator. So that's basically all you need to do. You just need to head over to the platform where you want to get your 2FA code or set up your 2FA code, get your 2FA key, head over to Proton, tap create new code. You can allow camera access if you have a QR code you want to scan, but since I don't have a QR code, I'll tap enter manually. It is down here, so I'll tap enter manually. Okay, so for the first option, I'm going to enter Twitter. It's gonna be Twitter or X. And then the secret code is the code that I copied from the app. I'm going to paste it here. As for the third option, you don't need to enter anything, but just to make things simple, I'll enter Twitter. If you tap advanced options, you get more options here. You don't need to do anything here, so I would recommend you just leave it the way it is. So finally, tap save. And as you can see, the 2FA code is being generated for me, and it even shows me the next code that will be needed. So I can wait for this one to elapse, like the time to expire so that the new code will be, yeah, this is now the current code. So I can tap it to copy it. And if I head back to Twitter, I can just paste the code, confirm. And as you can see, it says I am all set. So from here on, anytime I need my 2FA code for Twitter, I can just access Proton Authenticator and then I'll see the code from here. I'll tap it to copy it, head back to Twitter, and then enter the code. So that's how you use Proton Authenticator. This is a basic way of using it. If you found the video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.